Just before the Everest, Everest, a minute before the Everest, traffic warden was declared a late scratching. A heavily backed three-year-old, he sat down in the gates. He was very restless. In fact, I'll read from the steward's report. Traffic warden, after being loaded into the barriers, became fractious, reared and sat down before becoming cast momentarily. And acting on veterinary advice, steward scratched traffic warden at 4.20. Uh, Darren Beeman advised that traffic warden had sustained lacerations to the off foreleg as a result of the incident in the barriers. Now, before I let you comment on the scratching, Steve Routon told me the situation with the veterinary surgeons. There are two vets at the, at the barriers mm -hmm. and they both inspected traffic warden. There is a third vet for every race at every race meeting in, in Sydney who sits in the stewards room in the bunker. And while the veterinary surgeons at the gates were inspecting traffic warden, the third vet is rewinding, and we don't have all the angles from the stewards room, rewinding and watching over again what traffic warden did in the gates. And in Steve Ralton's words were, he sat down and he thrashed about in the gates. Now the laceration is a telling tale. He sustained that laceration to the off foreleg. So that's, that, they are the facts as we have it. Yep. And that's why he was declared declared a late scratching. I don't think we have all the vision to make a comment on it. We're not veterinary no. surgeons, so I'm not here to, that's their job. It's very disappointing, very disappointing. Corey, that little kick there. Yeah, you can see that he's kicking up there because he's got that uh, leaf in his tail and you can obviously feel that that's why he kicked up, but that's obviously not why he went off in the barriers. They said that um, I am me played up or kicked out or done something to stir him up. So very, but heartbreaking, really, like yeah. to, to come this far, you know, and he, he was one of the live chances, without a doubt. Um, yeah, to, to be scratched like that at the barriers is, yeah, a heartbreaking. No a, a normal case, if, if a horse does anything wrong in the barriers, if it gets a leg up, it's immediately scratched. If it, sets, if it sits down and thrashes about and sustains a laceration, surely you don't want that horse running. As a punter, do you want to be on that horse after, after something like that goes... Because you... We, we can't tell if that horse would have performed. No, that's right. No. And when, and when, it, when it happens, the adrenaline of the horse, you know, like they're, they're not going to act lame straight away. No. You know, so, I'd, I'd, you know, the laceration, I'd like to see how big the laceration was. But, yeah, True. You, you don't, yes. you don't want something to go wrong then in the race and then you say, well, I should have scratched, you know, when he has done something like that. But, yeah. I didn't... think it's more than just that vision we've got of yeah. him bunny hopping there. Yeah. Uh, there's got to be more to it than that. No, Just that. Steve, Steve Routon said he sat down in the gates and thrashed about. Mm. Okay. They were his words. Yep. Well, I think, uh, well, we've got to move on, but uh, that's very, very deflating, even for a big organisation like Godolphin. That's heartbreaking. Yeah, you know, sure. you've got a cult He's there. Far. He's come this far. Mm. Uh, they've, they've got him into this race, and he, if he wins this race, it's a massive, massive mm. result. Mm. So I'm, I'm sure he's okay. You can I'm, see that vision there though, Jamie Carr, where she was situated. He obviously did go a fair way back and fair way down for her to be sort of, her, well her bum was touching the back gates as well. So mm. he must have gone down low, um, yeah, to, for her to be positioned where she was. Okay, well that's the, that's the traffic warden situation.